the Unimap Edu Solutions Private Limited, cordially welcomes you to unlock your educational dreams. Hi friends, myself Ahmad Sharif. This video is brought to you by Unimap Edu Solutions Private Limited, head office Coimbatu, branch offices Telangana Hyderabad. And today I am with our guest who has been pursuing her masters in TU Chemnitz and I would like to introduce her. Hi, uh, I would like to introduce her. Can you introduce yourself, please? Uh, hello, I am Bhavna Rana. I am from New Delhi, India. I am doing my masters in Advanced Functional Materials from TU Chemnitz in Germany. So, uh, would I like to know about your bachelor's, like what you have done? I did my bachelor's in Physical Sciences with Chemistry. Uh, I had uh, Physics and Chemistry both as my major subjects. I did my bachelor's from Delhi University. So, uh, like, do you have any work experience, period work experience before coming for this course? In my bachelor's, as I was president of my university, so I got a lot of opportunity over there. I did uh, two research projects there, okay. which is like related to chemistry. Okay. So then I have decided to do my masters, uh, which is related to chemistry or okay. material science. So can you give me an overview of this course, like a structure, like what you study in these uh, two years? Yes, this course is really very interesting as one can find uh, their particular direction as this course is um, for material science. We have in starting we have both uh, compulsory subjects for physics and for chemistry and after that in the third semester we can choose uh, um, one, one direction. We have subjects like uh, semiconductor physics, photovoltaics, uh, sustainable production technology, uh, synthetic methods in chemistry, crystallography, energy van day and a lot. So, okay. so uh, like you have been studying this course with many multicultural uh, students like uh, like what would you suggest like if a p person want to choose particularly this course like what are the prerequisites prerequisites for this course is you should have your bachelor degree in physics or in chemistry or in material science and you should have knowledge of german also okay. at least a1 and a2 level okay and uh, like you have got your student job too in the university and like how do you explore the opportunities actually? Yes, I really got an opportunity in my first year as a student HIV. Okay. First I was student assistant and then I was research assistant in my university. I did um, HIV as a major in chemistry. So there, I, there are many PhD students, so I was uh, working with them okay. in labs, yes. And uh, regarding this course, like what would you like to say the opportunities after completion of this course? After completion of this course, uh, if you, you have both opportunities, if you want to go in industry, you can go over there. If you don't want to go, if you want to go in academics, you okay. can do that also in university. In industries, you can get in chemical industry, semiconductor industry, because as I am doing my master's projects now, which is major in chemistry, so I can go in chemical industry if you are doing in physics then you can go in semiconductor industry okay it's like what you choose like particularly yes. it decides your uh, field. field and regarding the job opportunities uh, in the city apart from the university like where you stay in cabinets there are many job opportunities but i am personally recommending if uh, one really wants to get job then they should go uh, uh, for their part-time job in university only. Okay. That would be better. Uh, what are the benefits you get like working with PhD guys? Like your uh, exposure, like getting to PhD or to getting into practical field, like you, you can decide easily. Like how, what was your uh, experience? Here, uh, as I did my bachelor's in chemistry, so here also I did my project in chemistry. So here we have like newly labs which we I don't see in India. Yeah. So I did mm, I worked with PhD guys. So they are like like I got uh, knowledge from the PhD guys. Yeah. And I, it was wonderful working in new labs. Okay. Because there are many uh, apparatus that 
there is not that is not available in india like after doing the student job like it made you uh, the curious interest towards the research or like to explore the practical things in the job uh, it made me uh, curious for both things okay. for practical also and for research also because first we are doing practical uh, we are performing practicals and then it like we are doing characterization and all it made us like a researcher so after completion of my course also i really want to do in work in the field of research okay like usually uh, every student uh, think of the safety so usually they ask like uh, this course is suitable for the job or what is the job market and what is the demand like what would you say uh, a student like how to choose the particularly course or like regarding this course um, material sciences really a good uh start up for after bachelors for me so they can do this course and there are lot of opportunities for job also okay yes and what is the importance of german language in getting the student job or like in a practical field as i told you i am doing my um, master project in chemistry so it's compulsory to at least you can interact with your colleagues okay so you should have a bit knowledge of uh, chemistry at least till a1 and a2 level okay what is your uh, word to the freshers like who have been looking towards this course guys this is uh, really heaven for those who really want to do research or want to gain practical knowledge germany is the place where you can get that okay so it has been nice talking to you and thank you for your valuable time thank you you can register with us through our portal so join us and be at the pinnacle of education through the best service provider we keep your data protected and we are determined to connect the world to germany with our amicable assistance for further details visit us at www.unimap.in i n